Hi, my name is Jade. I'm here with Lauren Tegg, our Executive Director at uh, Green Lake Lutheran Ministries. And we're going to talk about Tim Team and what it means um, and the cool things that come with it. So Lauren, what does, or why did you start Tim Team? Well, it started uh, about 20 some years ago, probably because I, I view myself more as a youth director as, as opposed to being a camp director. And um, I was driving in the cities one day and it just hit me that Kids always ask me, why can't my church be as exciting as camp is? Or I'd hear youth directors saying our kids would go to an event, be all excited, come back, and wouldn't see them again until the next event. And So we started developing a program which kids would come to camp, high school kids, who would uh, dream about what they could do back in their local congregation. So it's a, it's a year's commitment uh, of working with their own church, and so they start seeing camp more as a resource to the congregation that we're tied together. And so that's how it really got started. And what does Tim Team stand for? Short for Timothy, the, the verse that says, don't let anyone look down upon you because you're young. Uh, we have a tendency in the old days of talking about the youth of the church of tomorrow, and they're the church of today, along with even us old timers. And so how do we get them involved in ministry? And uh, so Tim Team, short for Tim, Mathy, and then Teens in Ministry or Teens in Mission, uh, either one. But it's trying to get kids dreaming about how they can work in, uh, in ministry. What would you say is the philosophy behind Tim Team? First of all, t uh, to get young people involved in mission, uh, to view themselves working back in their congregation. and. It's important for a camp, if they're going to do this program, that they really view uh, working with congregations and not just campers, uh, so that we book everything by congregation. And so we use that week when the kids that are younger come out, we ask the Tim team that are older to come out that same week from the same congregation so they can um, build relationships with them. So it's a relational ministry. That's in the afternoons and evenings. They're assigned to the cabin, but they don't stay in it. It is not counselor and training. We want kids to be uh, growing their discipleship. We believe all kids have gifts. And uh, so any kid that wants to do Tim, Tim can. It's finding his gift and how he can be of service. It's a team ministry uh, so that I can always do things better with a whole bunch of gifts gathered together as opposed to one person trying to do everything. So it's a miniature church. It's trying to understand how do we witness in a broader sense. So there's discipleship training involved. Um, oh, let's see, what's the other thing? And it's picking out a certain ministry uh, with the congregation uh, that they work with. The adult, uh, we ask that they have an adult with too. How does Tim Team work? We ask that they come out the week, the same week that younger kids from the church does. We ask that the, an adult from the church come out with them. We ask for four. They can be fewer, but we find that to be less effective. And they definitely can be more. We've had up to 20 or 30 come from a church to do Tim Team. Uh, so it, it varies in size. That's kind of up to the congregation. Uh, the mornings are spent planning out at are doing Bible study for Tim Team, having um, time for discipleship training, and then they do some planning for ministry, what they're going to do the next year with the adult from that congregation, where they can uh, spend the week planning out a year's activities. And then at the end of the week, they sign a covenant as to how they will help carry out that ministry they've been planning that goes back to the congregation, and we like them to sign either the pastor, youth director, or even a council board or the council president would be good because it's, we want to find as much support for those kids and they go back to the church to um, uh, be supported in doing what they do. When they're done, we haven't done much because we want the congregation to be their area of focus. They, we don't want to be running a youth, um, their youth program from here. That doesn't make sense. So we try to say you go back to your church and that's where you work. We are going to probably start some retreats during the year that will allow them to come back just to share ideas and be rejuvenated, but not to uh, try to tell them what they should do in the future. That, that's the congregation's job. We request that they have four um, young people 
doesn't have to be, but that's what we'd like to have at least four, and they can have more than that. Generally, ninth grade completed to 11th grade completed. And many do it all through their high school, but uh, we like to have ninth grade and then have a little gap. They usually work with younger kids, like fourth through sixth grade. Um, uh, I don't like to have ninth grade working with, uh, or tenth grade working with middle school. I think you wanna have a little age break in there. But once in a while, it makes sense with the congregation to, we let them decide that we just make recommendations. How important is the adult? The adult is absolutely critical. Uh, I've been doing this for over 25 years, and when a, um, an adult doesn't show up, or we find that they trade off every day or something like that, it's less than effective. And usually if adult isn't there, the Tim team is done before Christmas. They don't fulfill their year's commitment. So we really push hard. Now sometimes it doesn't work, I mean, and. The, the experience in and of itself is worth the kids coming because it gets them thinking about their church, discipleship training and all that. But the real key of viewing, uh, they're gonna be supported by their home congregation is absolutely critical and that adult brings that. Uh, the adult can either be a staff member or it can be uh, another adult that really works with the kids. And sometimes even a college age kid will take over the Tim team and do it for the congregation. What have been some results with Tim Team? Oh wow, some of the fun stories. One church had 20 kids uh, coming on uh, certain nights. They sent 10 kids to camp. They did a Tim Team with about six kids. And the next year the youth director said they had 200 kids coming in um, on Wednesday nights and they sent 80 kids to camp the next year. So I mean, that was one of those real benefits for both of us. Um, the other fun thing with that one was some of the younger kids saw what the older kids are doing with uh, fourth or sixth grade. The junior high kids said, we want to form a Tim team and work with the preschool, and they did. So it, it catches a dream of having kids thinking, this is something we can do. Also, uh, just a lot of small churches, it becomes a real blessing for them. They have a group of high school kids that really can't do they only have four or five, and they're working with another area of ministry. Uh, that's been fun. Uh, one church, a simple illustration, the kids dream while they're on Tim Team. They don't just do what the church is kind of expecting. They uh, said, we want to help on new member classes when people come in. We want to take the younger kids and meet with them and tell them how great our church is. And uh, so they, every new member class they have, they take the younger kids and meet with them while the adults are meeting with the pastors and stuff, talking over programs and things. So a lot of different things can happen. One group really got involved in a social justice issue and, and they were gonna do something different and during the week they got so uh, passionate about it, they said, we're gonna work with um, this other one and educate our whole congregation in that area. So it has a lot of flexibility. It doesn't have to be, well, in fact, it can't be one program fits all because our churches are such different sizes uh, and, and locations. I would say some of the things that I saw um, was the spark of interest in, in, the, in the kids that came by, um, knowing that they could do something in their church that would help build up programs, um, take things that weren't working and reform them into something that could be built into something bigger for the congregation and for the kids um, in their church, just to see them want to grasp on to that learning aspect and make a difference in their community. I'd probably say another thing that uh, we see with the kids, a side benefit for us as a camp, uh, one third of our staff would be Tim Team alumni that we got to know during the course of time and to see which ones would be great counselors and stuff like that. And uh, so we received just tremendous benefit from that. We used to have a hard time getting high school kids to come to camp, and uh, the other camp I worked at, Wapagasset, uh, now has close to 250 to 300 high school kids coming uh, to do Tim Team. And this year we hope at Green Lake we'll have anywhere from 50 to 100. There's a couple of ways. One is just Green Lake Lutheran Ministries. You can contact us. Uh, we as a staff would be more than glad to answer questions, uh, throw out new ideas, and listen to some of your ideas. Um, uh, so again, I'm, I'm available. Uh, Travis Ofterheide is our Green Lake specialist. He would be open to talking to you about it. And then Jade is here also uh, working out with us this year. And so she would be available to talk further with you. 
Wapagas at Lutheran Bible Camp also does this program, and uh, had, that's where I was before, and they would be glad to talk to you, I'm sure, also uh, about getting more information. Yeah, but, but, but that's all, folks. <laughs>